I want to show you about this really versatile app called Edu Creations. And I think it's versatile because I think you can use it in any content area. And I'm going to show you real quick how I would use it in an economics class. Um, so right here, Edu Creations wants you to log in. But right down here on the left, it says log in with Google, which obviously makes me very excited because I hate creating new accounts. So right here, you can log in with your Princeton email address and type in your password. I'm just going to click go. And then I just need to verify, yes, educations can sign in with my Google account. And now that I'm logged in, I'm going to click on new lesson. So Educreations, it looks like a very basic whiteboard with a record button in the top right here. So I have my different colored markers and I can also drop in um, photos, import things from Dropbox, that sort of thing. But I'm going to show you how I would explain um, a supply and demand curve because that's one thing I end up explaining to students a lot. And um, it seems like a simple concept, but I, I end up re-explaining it a lot. So I kind of just want to capture how I explain this. So I'm going to click on record. And so a supply and demand curve looks at the price of an item and the quantity of an item. So let's say that we are making basketballs. That's a basketball. So supply curves usually curve upward because the more money that a producer can make on an item, the more likely they are to produce that item. So their quantity of production will be higher. I'm just gonna click on this forward arrow here and draw a demand curve. This again is price and quantity. And we're still talking about basketballs. So demand curves uh, for the most part curve downward because the less than an item costs the more likely we are as consumers to purchase that item. I'm actually just gonna go back to the first page here and put this, I'm just gonna label this S for supply and the demand curve right here. And this point where the supply curve and the demand curve meet is called equilibrium. And that is where the, it's, that's the market price of an item. So I'm gonna hit pause. So let's say that is all I wanted to share with my students. I end up sharing that with them a lot. I'm just gonna hit done and hit save lesson. And I can just name it supply, demand, curve, next and right now I'm just going to choose private and I'm just going to save it. So what this is, is this is saving it to your educations account. I'm just not sharing it with anyone. And now I'm back on the home screen of education so I can open up this lesson and it's a recorded lesson. So the supply and demand curve looks at the price of an item and the quantity of an item. So I could share that with students and pass around this one iPad. So if that didn't sell you, that's okay. I'm gonna show you why else this is great. So when I'm in this, I can click up here on this email button and I could send an email. I could email this lesson to any of my students because they all have email addresses. Delete that. But you also can get a link to this lesson. And so it just says link copied. So now I can go out to any other you know, email program or wherever it is that you want to access this and I can just press and hold and paste in that really long link to my lesson and hit go and everybody will have the, the link to your recorded lesson. So that is how I would use Educreations. This is part one. You can do a lot more with it, but this is already four minutes and most of you probably quit watching. So thank you for the time.